Ryan, aka Eagle Boosted here. Finally getting around to another car update video. Um, first of all, let me apologize about this camera. I think it's bouncing quite a bit from this particular mount. I'll have to see in post process what it looks like. But anyway, so it's been a while since my last car update. Um, at least a year or so. Not a whole lot has happened with my car modification wise since my last update video. Um, I do have one bow my head moment shame to report. A couple months ago, I had a small fender bender in the car. Um, picture here. My own stupidity. I have nobody to blame but myself for what happened. But fortunately, the dealership I took it to, Sioka Ford, beautiful Quaker town, patched her up. And with their so Sioka promise, I fortunately paid nothing out of pocket, for which I'm very thrilled about. But I got my car back, case in point. At any rate, I've added a few more die dynamic lights to the car. I really like their products. They seem to be built pretty well. I have the switchback lights in the front turn signals. I have their color matched clear corners. I picked up their LED rear quarter lights, LED strips. They're really quite nice. I think they add a really nice sharp look to the car. Um, just beautifully, beautifully manufactured. They fit the stock housings without any problems. Um, installation was three minutes at best. Um, all I had to do was pop out the old ones, pop out the new ones, and we were off to the races. Everything worked out great in that respect on the uh, installation. Just a, just a top quality product. Full disclosure, not endorsed. I just like the product. It, it worked well. It looks nice. It looks OEM and functions beautifully. So at this point, I've had this car over over a year now. Um, I've got 17,000, almost 18,000 miles on it, and still running strong. I've had no major issues other than one leaky tire that I got fixed when I had it inspected last. Um, but just an all around great driving car. You know, it's funny, I've watched a number of, of videos on impressions of the Eagle Boost Mustang and there's generally two camps that I've noticed. Either people love it or, or like, what's the point? Um, I think it's kind of like a, a good mix of both sensibility in the sense that it's not a gas guzzler, and that's not to knock the, the five liter Coyote motors. They get respectable gas mileage for what they are. Um, and of course they have boot power, you know, 435 horse, you know, the 310 that this thing's rated for at the flywheel. But after owning it for over a year now, and, and it's my daily driver, <clears throat> I still enjoy driving this car. You know, it's, it's a blast just to get in go through town, you know, do my daily, whatever it might be. Enough power to have some fun and to get yourself in trouble because it's a Mustang, it gets the looks, which isn't why I bought the car. I said in the previous video, I bought the car because I like the Mustang. I generally like the design and I was really thrilled with the 2015 model year. It just looks, it looks sharp in my opinion. I know this isn't for everybody, that's fine. It doesn't need to be. Some people think that the, uh, the element looks great. I think it's a box on wheels, but that's my opinion, not yours, doesn't matter. As of right now, I don't have any immediate plans to do any uh, power adders, any bolt-ons to that effect, you know. There are some things I'd like to do, um, but that all comes down to funding and time, and it's just been really busy at work, I haven't had a whole lot of free time to sit there and, and kind of mess around with, you know, adders and everything else. And to be completely frank, it's not bad the way it sits, you know, to me it feels like a GT, an older GT, not a new one, an older one, you know, I've driven a 2006 Mustang GT, and this feels comparable, and feels a lot more nimble, honestly, than, than the, the, the 2006 did. Beyond what I just mentioned, there's not really any new updates, other than small uh, aesthetic things, and my little boo-boo. But 
uh, she's back on the road. She's good, driving good. You know, no major body fitment issues. It seems like they did a pretty good job of putting the getting the hood line back up again and all that fun stuff. So that's it for this video right now, guys. Like I said, not a whole lot to really report. Um, but as I do more stuff, I'll keep you informed. Thanks for watching.